You know you've made it as a baseball mom when you carry one of these in your purse. Hey, it's Trey from Ballpark Copper. Today, we're going to be talking about testicular guards, also known as the cup. It's very important you want to protect your family jewels. You know, protect the boys. But if you're a single mom, or you might have a husband or a male in your life that really doesn't have any experience with even wearing a cup, you may not have played sports or, or played a sport that didn't require that. Um, it's kind of hard to know what size to get. What do you look for? How in the world do you fit them? And sometimes you don't even know which way it's supposed to go. So there's so many different options with jock straps and compression shorts and things like that. <clears throat> you don't want your boy to, to have chafing or problems. And you definitely don't want to wind up with an injury down there. So we're going to take a trip today to our uh, local sporting goods store. And we're going to check out all the different options. So follow me. Hey, bud. How was practice? Good. What'd you just do? Hey, it's not that kind of cup holder. Okay, so here we are in our local sporting goods store. And as we're walking our way through here trying to find where our cups and jock straps are, just want to give you a little background info. Here's a little uh, trivia knowledge for you. The first testicular guard was used in hockey in 1874. And the first helmet was used in sports in 1974. That just means it took 100 years for men to realize that their brain is also important. Just keep in mind that all bodies are different and athletic brief is similar to conventional underwear. So like when you're wearing jock straps, you can actually wear a jock strap without a cup for running intensive activities. That will minimal, minimalize any type of rubbing. Also, there's a traditional cup, which is like upside down pear shaped. It's usually hollow plastic cover and it's ideal for most sizes and shapes. But there is such a thing as a banana cup, which is longer up and down shape. And it's suitor, suited for larger genitalia, especially ones that are longer than average. So size does matter. So as we look at a few examples of some of the cups that are available, <clears throat> just to let you know, the size that's listed on the package only pertains to waistband size. When you're looking at the compression short or jock strap, the cup will either be separate or listed separately. <clears throat> and the cups should hold the genitals completely, comfortably, and snugly. You don't want them pressing in on it because they're going to have chafing and it's really going to be uncomfortable. So in general, your waist size, a small is about a 20 to 26 inch, a medium is a 26 to 32 inch, a large is a 32 to 38 inch, and an extra large is 38 to 44. And your cups come in ranges from sizes from peewee, which is ages 5 to 7, youth, which is 8 to 12, teen, 13 to 15, and adult is 16 and above. And just so that you know, it is okay to put a different size cup inside uh, a different jock strap or compression short. All right, let's see. Now this is your jock strap, which means your butt cheeks are hanging out. So, <laughs> Victoria's Secret, I guess these are Victor's Secret, aren't they? It's the male version. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up, ladies. You might want to get your man some fashion to model for you. Alright, so your cup would actually go inside there. It has a little pocket to protect the family jewels. So then we have the compression short style instead of the jock strap style and that's the actual cup which goes in skinny side down right okay all right so we have that and it goes into the little pocket in the front of the compression short so really this um, 
uh, episode does not only apply to baseball players, but to any sport that has a player that has to wear a cup. I've even had some friends that have football players that said, well, I wish I would have known that information whenever my kids started playing football because I had no clue how to pick a cup or size a cup or how they're supposed to wear them or how to buy one. So this is for all the moms or or females out there that are taking care of business with their sons and trying to do right by them without any guidance. Hopefully this is helpful. I hope this information on cups was informative. You know, even peanuts have protection. So hopefully you'll be able to size and fit your player with a cup for this season and they won't have any problems and he'll be protected. We definitely don't want him dancing the nutcracker. Hey, thanks for watching Ballpark Hopper. Remember to subscribe below, put your comments down there. We'd love to hear back from you and get some feedback. We hope the information today was informative and you'll keep watching Ballpark Hopper. Don't forget to subscribe and follow the blog at www.ballparkhopper.wordpress.com. There's always something exciting happening at the ballpark. Hope to see you there.